and continuing the same hadith, I put it as another miracle. So the same thing happened, now, but this time opposite, that this uh, person, next Friday came, and he came and he complained to Rasulullah Ya Rasulullah, our livestock are dying because it's raining so much that we are in trouble. Uh, because, you know, sometimes, uh, yeah, rain is definitely a blessing, but sometimes if it rains too much, there's no pro proper protection for animals. What happens? It's, it's going to be a problem, right? You're, uh, you don't have enough uh, uh, shelter for them or something related to this. So the, so the, the person, he uh, persuaded Rasulullah please make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to withhold the rain. So same thing, Rasulullah was in his khutbah, he stopped his khutbah and he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya Allah round about us and not on us O Allah on the plateaus on the mountains on the hills and the valleys and in the places where trees grow so basically you know uh, the rain is blessing and water is still needed so he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala O Allah do not uh, rain on us but spread it across us so around the outskirts of the city as you can say so the you know it, it, you can still benefit from the rivers that can uh, the water that flows from the rain. So it is said that Anas radiallahu anhu he this time again what he noticed when he came out the rain stopped immediately and he could see the sun now immediately. So that is amazing. So it's it's one thing is that you make dua and after some time one day two day it comes true right. So, but here in this case in both the cases. It was immediately answered. So all that that, that jama that was there during uh, khutbah al Juma that would definitely have an impact on the use. And you see such uh, miracles of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.